just recently windows 11 24 edge 2 got released it is a big update for windows 11. it is more optimized and comes with few new features some features are likable some are not so let's not talk about that now according to some sources windows 11 24 h2 is actually faster than windows 10. yes so there are a couple of sources let's uh, go straight into this video actually this video is from microsoft mechanics channel now in this video if you just go to the performance and efficiency section they do have the chapters here really cool it will be easy for you guys to find it too so in here they did some testing uh, between windows 11 and uh, specifically windows 11 24 h2 and windows 11 on same hardware and uh, on each test results you'll see a huge gap you can see these numbers these numbers are huge this is for battery life 106 percent longer battery life on windows 11 that's like <laughs> crazy isn't it they did the testing on multiple devices so you'll see multiple section here now if we go into the performance or rating i think it's uh, overall highest rating for the performance look at the windows 11 scores and windows 10 scores it's like almost double actually there is the accurate amount here 68.9 percent why not 69 percent that would be perfect <laughs> it can't be fake or anything like that it is actually real windows 11 24h2 actually performs better than uh, windows 10 now thanks to the new update 24h2 now there are a couple of reddit posts okay uh it was like four days ago it was even before the windows 11 24 h2 got released so someone made this post on reddit that windows 11 24 h2 is smoother on 10 year old intel celeron pc and many other people are saying the same thing they have noticed that windows 11 24 h2 is actually performing better again as i said this post was posted before windows 11 24 h2 got released few days before actually four days ago i think it's been just one day windows 11 24 h2 got released so these people are also expecting 24 h2 official release to be even better than the ones they are using the release preview yeah some people have mixed feelings okay it's not like everybody is gonna love uh, the uh, windows 11 24 h2 but overall for windows users windows 11 24 h2 is actually good okay the people who are gonna go into the comments and say linux is better uh, yeah i mean it's not for you but in general like the windows user windows 11 24h2 update is actually good so i actually just now before recording this video i reinstalled windows 11 24h2 on my laptop and i'm using the remote desktop to connect to it so i can record it from my pc and this thing is running so well i have said this in the past i don't exactly know in which video uh, that windows 11 on my old laptop runs poorly it's not usable at all i have said that but 24h2 is actually running really well even when like i'm uh, updating my system you know the main reason why windows 11 was unusable on my old laptop was uh, whenever there is something happening in the background in most cases it's always the windows update uh, if there is a update downloading or installing the system will become unusable on older windows 11 versions like the 23h2 now i have already tested this uh, yeah there is a new update for the antivirus it's okay uh, i have taken some pictures when i was installing this and i was using it while it was getting updated and it was usable on a old laptop okay it's not like super like old laptop but it is not supported or i mean officially not supported because it doesn't have the tpm 2.0 uh, i can actually show you guys tpm msc uh, i think i have disabled it altogether because uh, there is the 1.2 which is not officially supported by windows 11 anymore uh, but you can install this on any pc like even if it doesn't support it 
uh, without secure boot, without TPM, using unattended XML file or some other methods like Rufus or something like that. Now, many people are saying that we, they can't upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 because of the TPM 2.0 requirement. I mean, that's still like sucks because <laughs> Uh, I mean, the older PCs won't be able to get the Windows 11 officially running on their system. You'll have to bypass the system requirements, but you can bypass easily with the 24H2. And maybe some of you guys know that there is the uh, Windows 11 24H2 LTSC version, which doesn't require any of that. Okay, You can run that Windows 11 LTSC on any pc even on potato not actual potato but you know what i mean i think this is how we should be looking at this situation okay there is the windows 11 ltsc there is the windows 11 normal for home users or professional users okay uh, if you bypass the normal windows 11 system requirements it just becomes like a windows 11 uh, LTSC. You'll still get the updates and everything. System requirements are there because Microsoft desperately wants to make a operating system more secure. If you ask me, is this faster than Windows 10? I'm gonna say it is actually faster than Windows 11, the previous versions, for sure because i have been using windows 11 ever since it came out and this version actually runs really well on my old laptop before this the older versions were like just unusable and according to those online sources yeah it actually looks like windows 11 24h2 is actually faster than windows 10 and also the previous windows 11 versions overall i think windows 11 24h2 is good yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something on this topic you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye